Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus. And this week I had a question from a member on my Silhouette Secrets with Ellie May Facebook group on how to create a design. The design in question was a saw blade style design. And so I quickly just did a screen capture video of how I would do that. And it was asked that I make a video that could be shared or saved for future reference. So I'm putting that out there. I do apologize for my voice. I am recovering from laryngitis and I lost my voice for two weeks and it's taking a while for it to come back, but I wanted to get this video out there for you. So I want to show you in just a few simple steps how you could create your own design. In this case, it's a saw blade, but you could use this for different things like wreaths or other creations as well. And you'll see that here in just a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my drawing tools and I'm going to draw an ellipse. I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to drag my mouse across my screen. This is going to make a perfect circle. Now in this case, I don't need it to be a specific size, but if you do, you could set it up here in the height and width in your quick access toolbar. And then the, uh, design was a saw blade. So if you think about this, when you're creating designs, and most people think I can't create my designs. I don't have the um, thought, I, I just don't have that ability. Well, you do if you think about it in terms of every single design is just made up of basic shapes. And once you start to see those shapes, it'll be easier for you to think about how you could create that. So in this case, a saw blade. So I took a small little rectangle and I just drew a rectangle out and then what I did was I turned this rectangle. So I'm going to come over here to my transform panel on the right, my rotate tab, and I'm going to turn this rectangle to um, 45 degrees. And that's the wrong direction. So I need to go negative 45. And then for a saw blade teeth. And I guess it just depends on how you look at your saw blade. And then you can see here, I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to use it to make my saw teeth. So I'm going to start with my little skinny rectangle. I'm going to come over here to my replicate panel. And the third tab at the top is your replicate object on path. And then if I click on this show grab handle, I get this little control point in the center of my rectangle. Now you want your rectangle selected. That's the object that we're going to be working with that we want to place around this circle. If you have something else selected or you don't have anything selected, you have nothing to turn that show grab handle on. So make sure your object is selected by clicking on it. And then I'm simply going to grab this control point with my mouse and bring it to my circle. And you can see here, it adds that. You have the ability to change different aspects of this object to path. So you can choose the number of repeats. You can um, choose your start position. You can choose the length between them, all kinds of different options. You can grab these little handles here and move it. So you can control it in both your panel and on the screen. Now I'm just going to simply hit my undo button, bring it all back. So in this case, I want to take those rectangles out of the circle to make the saw teeth. So I'm going to select everything on the screen and I'm going to come over here to my modify panel. And then I'm simply going to choose subtract. And what that does is you, if you move your mouse over top of it, it even tells you what it's going to do. It's going to cut the front shape. It's going to cut that shape a hole in the back shape. So think of this as it's stacked on top of each other. My skinny rectangles are on top of my circle. If I click subtract, the skinny rectangles are going to be cut out or subtracted from my circle. And there you have your saw blade teeth. Now, if you wanted to keep both shapes, I'm going to click undo. Typically in this case, in this design, you, you don't want to keep your skinny rectangles. But if you did, you'd simply click subtract all. And then what that's going to do is then you can move these away. 
you still keep all of your shapes, but you can move them out of the way. In this particular design, I don't need to keep those. So once again, I'm gonna come over here, move it back, hit my undo button until I got back to where I wanted to be, and I'm gonna simply click on subtract. That takes it from a circle, and I've now made a saw blade. The additional step that you would need to do to make it look more like a saw blade is I'm going to come over back to my draw ellipse tool, I'm going to draw a perfect circle, and then I'm going to select both my outer edge and my inside edge, center those, and then what you're going to notice here, if I were to fill this with color, so if I fill the saw blade with a gray, and I fill this let's just choose black I have two objects stacked on top of each other they are two separate objects if I want that circle to be cut out of the saw blade select both and then I can choose make compound path and it's going to cut that circle out of the saw blade there are other ways you can do that as well but this is how I would do it so I hope those tips have helped again I'm sorry for my voice but you can simply create your own designs by combining shapes and then subtracting shapes. Play around with the Silhouette Studio software and see what you can create today. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.